having survived the encounter with the Westerlith, we all <laughs> are continuing onwards. Ellie, his name is Walter. <laughs> Sorry, having survived the encounter with Walter. Let's find somewhere relatively safe to identify what we've got left and try to figure out where the fuck the sword they were talking very about, pretty blade. Woman. Very pretty woman. Very pretty woman. It's just very tired. Probably as good as anywhere. Let's get on dry land in this corner. At this point, you can all feel the chills running through your legs and your boots and your socks, and it's just honestly <laughs> <My> miserable. <laughs> they said the blade of... what was it again? Oh, uh, it was the Seer's Blade. Seer's Blade. Well, we found three blades back in the other room. Yeah, it's only what, one of them. Weren't there some sort of spectral sword that we passed by earlier? Oh, right. I could be wrong. Like... Oh, yes, my friend! I don't know if that's <laughs> the Seer's Blade, though, but we can... Pretty sure that's a trap trigger of t trying to touch it. I'm gonna show Callum the ring I found. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad that you did not show that whenever we were over there. This is one thing that we are not going to sell. I believe that this might be very important to the pretty lady upstairs. The snake one? Yes. Mm. I believe that this is the um, ring that her beloved used to propose to her, um, who may or may not still be alive. Walter was not very... Walter wasn't forthright uh, with that information, but he was forthright with the fact that he... Ah, uh, that Minerva has a fiancé. Definitely, hold on. Is Walter her fiancé? Ah, uh, no. No, that much I, I knew. <laughs> He's met uh, her fiancé, though. Damn, she's not a monster fucker. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> she's not fucking Walter. <laughs> Right now, he's not a Walter fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Walter, definitely. I'm not having sex safe. with you right now, Walter. <laughs> I, <laughs> I definitely would say keep that safe. She will be very happy about that. Put your ring away, Walter. <laughs> I take the, you know, eleven minutes. Oh yeah. yeah. That has a spell on it. Oh. Are you familiar with the spell Planar Binding? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this binding? Is this binding her spirit? He is a monster, Funker. So, it's possible that her lover is from a different plane of existence. Eh. Not the first time I've heard someone get fall in love with someone from another plane of existence. Yes, I mean, I've heard of it as well. Uh, but it's still very interesting and very... It's very romantic. As they would say back home. <laughs> the thing you would also realize about this, Richard, if this was an engagement ring, putting this on would be such a symbol of trust, it's absurd. Because this <laughs> yeah. spell is, in the wrong hands, basically mind control. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. <sighs> there was that one very long hallway that we did not go back and down after we turned off the gas. Is there, is there? Did we not? No. Well then. I remember oh, no. because I closed the door. Oh. Well then, no, let's go the, check that way. <laughs> the one connected to the sword? Yes! Huh. I think. Hold on, let me just double check one thing real quick. It's not the fucking skeleton sword, is it? <laughs> you pick up the skeleton sword. It's dripping and covered in sewer water and fecal matter. Mm. Yay. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm <laughs> guarantee you it's not. I toss it back in the water and walk away. <laughs> yes, I'll let Walter have that one. If you <laughs> let Walter have that one, <laughs> leave yeah. it to Walter. Walter can have the poop sword. <laughs> <laughs> Do not offend Walter uh. by handing him a poop sword. <laughs> Don't set on upward, crazy. Okay. She would make a little eep noise and then just. All right, this is what we're doing now. I love her. <laughs> One of these days, I swear I should find I love her. just being buff. <laughs> you, get to, you get to be hot and fluster the cute. <laughs> you get to pick up the tiny. I was going up the stairs, Cal is just like stroking his chin. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I should invest in getting a 
buff person to carry me around. It looks very much better than walking. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Would you like a turn, Callum? Oh, I can wait for now. She seems to be enjoying it. I know what you mean. You find oh, yeah. a grate in the wall that just kind of... Uh, it's behind this little waterfall, so you'd have to push up through the water to get out. Uh, would it be okay if I'm enjoying the ride? <laughs> yes, of oh, course! <laughs> okay. Yeah, Callum, yeah. could, you, could you use that cube of force that you've got? Please. Oh, let's see. I believe for that one, <laughs> I would need... Water is considered non-living matter, yes? I don't want to get God. drenched. Uh, but the problem is what might be living in it. You know, that's really funny. If it's only non-living matter, that means all the bacteria will go through, but the water won't. <laughs> so then I would want to use... It also the... means a lot of the... Um... Oof. Fecal matter will go yeah. for. <laughs> okay, I need to use three. Is your fecal matter this. alive? <laughs> <laughs> it's got plenty of bacteria on it. Well, the bacteria okay. will, yes. I'll use three charges to make it to where living matter can't pass through, along with you know right. the others. <laughs> as long as no one gets their hand cut off, you're good. <laughs> Squimage into the queue. Squimage. Don't shatter the walls. Yeah, you're Moses in right, the water. We're going back up top. Yeah. Yeah. Parts of the brown sea. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So oh, much you rat poop. Use that term. <laughs> has way too much fun. Just walking, just the fucking like damage happening. Ironically, you could also use it to have pushed up the gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Well, the guy, I suggest you scamper. It runs as it sees you guys coming. I look to the water, seeing the fact that it had a gold coin, which means there's probably gold in there, isn't there? Make an investigation check. I'm gonna use it so that only coins can pass through. Okay, you <laughs> manage to scan the bottom of the uh, of the river. You find seven gold pieces. Was it worth it? Probably. <laughs> it took a lot of effort, but you did find it. Using the cube for only the most practical of reasons. Yes, exactly. She's getting way too much enjoyment out of this piggyback <laughs> ride. I like to imagine that Eerie's, like, frown has slowly turned back into a smile along the way. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Which hallway did we forget to go down? This way! This the way. one with the... when Callum was playing a game of Red Light, Green Light with us. Which, by the way, speaking of, uh, needing poisons from this place, luckily I still have the dart that was, uh in the wall from here that has some poison on it, so that's good. Ah, uh, do we need to collect the sewer water? Does that count as poison? Um, I don't think so, but we should probably collect some Only if you're stupid enough to drink it. There's some interesting people. There are very interesting people. We probably would want one of those crystals as well, probably. I think I still have one on me. Nice. Oh, and some of those mushrooms over there, possibly. Oh, hello, spiders. Are the, are the spiders a poison? Spiders are to Spiders be do have venom. Yes, you venom is not- are gonna see an interesting sight here with these spiders. They don't really seem to be moving. They're almost like rock solid. Mm. What you notice is moving is... the web? Uh. <laughs> it's almost like it's bending up and around the spiders, almost entangling them and pulling them in further. Don't like that. I don't like that. That's weird. Webs don't Web do that. Mimic. No. <laughs> the web was a mimic. <laughs> Reverie, just keep hold of me just in case this goes poorly. I'll put a hand on Callum's shoulder. My staff out to try to see if I can't get one of these things to grab hold of it. The spiders? Mm-hmm. Can you roll me animal handling? Richard, I'm gonna need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> You have a good concept. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So as try. you poke it, there's just a of like it doesn't get onto your like um it doesn't get onto your staff, but it emits this like cloud of like dusty yellow something, and it flows out all around you, Ooh. and you kind of like cover your nose, like your shoulder, and you're like <clears throat> <clears throat> it's really nasty. It almost tingles at your throat, and then it dissipates. <clears throat> Yes, that is indeed a poison that we need. And um, you will also see as all of the webs sort of like undulate all at once. Uh, that web is weird. I don't like that web. Why not? Um, 
strong. It it undulated weird. It looked, it, look at that. Webs do not undulate like that. It's like it's living. Like it's trying to consume hmm. those spiders. It's a web. How did it eat? It is slowly wrapping around the spiders and pulling them in closer to the center. It's very, um, not how a web moves. Mm. Yes, I don't like that. I'm going to go try and turn now, the other spiders, maybe. Does it look like the web is moving, or does it look like something's pulling it, if that makes sense? It's closer to that. That something's like pulling on strands of the web, but you can see the tension going up to the walls. Hmm. My thought is maybe there's something there we can't see. Oh, I swear to the gods above, if there's a phase of spider here, I will have an aneurysm. Hmm. A spider? Oh, uh, Rep, can, can we get through? It is a spider that can shift between different planes of existence. Uh, specifically the ethereal plane and the material plane. I'm gonna collect some of these mushrooms. Mm. Yeah, you pick some mushrooms. Uh, again, when you grab one out of the ground, there's another puff of, like, yellow. I'm gonna make sure to hold my fucking orb. Yeah, you do so, you do so. <laughs> As you pull this mushroom out of the ground, can you make me an insight check, please? Okay. Its roots come with it, and that normally would happen, sort of. But you'd think they would break off. And then you look at the roots. Oh, no. Roots didn't come with it. Big, massive spider webs came with it. Uh, or at least you'd think they're spider webs. Oh, the mushrooms are spider web. What? <laughs> That's weird. I mean, some people have called my silly <sighs> spider web looking, but... but. This looks like spider web, yes, very much so. Huh. So, the web cobwebs are actually a fungus? Possibly, yes. I, I mean, that mean the gas should be off, Reverie, if you want to go see if the sword on the other end is the sword that you're looking for. Mole woman? <laughs> you are mole woman. Uh, yes, I think it might be best. Uh, Reverie's going to start just tapping, tapping on every wall. Yeah, you continue along, tapping on the wall. I'll stop you if you feel anything. I think we should collect this poison water? Question mark? I don't know. Hmm. Probably? Here, yeah, send me down a sec. Um, using, uh, making sure the vial is as clean as possible, use the, that held Minerva's brew she didn't throw away yet. She is going to try and scoop up some of the water. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you're really careful, to not get it on your hands, you're able to get a vial of acid. As well, to make sure. Very good. <laughs> yes, I was just about to ask, thank you. Small <laughs> pretty woman. Hello. Let me in, door! <laughs> you find the sword. Hello, sword! It seems to be spinning towards you. Oh, yeah, you tap along that wall. Hmm. And goes right through it. <laughs> oh. I found it. I guess it was the sword then. Oh, was this the specter's blade? <laughs> this, I think it was the seer's blade. The seer's blade. Sword the, spins around and I it points was... towards the illusion. It realizes your hand's already going through the illusion. The sword somehow looks disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay, sword. I apologize. I know you were trying to help. <laughs> it was trying to help, and you just solved the puzzle without it, and I love it. Referee, referee, let's 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 re-enter the room and try again. Let it do its whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the front tip of the blade droops. <laughs> you come okay. in, okay, and you see the sword slowly spinning. <laughs> Friend, help us! We are lost. <laughs> it points straight upwards, and then it points uh, uh, aggressively around the room, like it like it's doing like a roulette wheel, and then it points at the wall. <laughs> Thank you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> but never predicted a false wall. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just peek in. Oh, you see a blood-stained floor and what looks like a small altar of skulls surrounded by candlelight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. Oh. Did we find our mystery room? I think so. Definitely. 
Uh, yeah, while they're that. doing that, can I like mage hand tap like anywhere near the uh where the cobwebs connect over here to try to uh see if they're getting like pulled into a fake room? <laughs> sure. As into you tap on the room. wall again, the webs begin to undulate. Um, do you keep tapping? I've got mage hand. Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Helm's stupid. He thinks he's safe. Uh, Callum, give me a perception check. Oh boy, will I? Hey, Faye. that's enough to spot that as he's doing this, these cobwebs mm -hmm. start to tug, and you see one of the cobwebs is actually connected to this pile of rubble here. Mm. And it pulls out a skull, which stands up. Pulls its arms up, grabs a sword, and is about to stab Helm. Helm, behind you! Feel him! <laughs> oh, Crash, help! I have got it. <laughs> That's dishonorable combat! No, I don't. No, not you, the skeleton. I'm so sorry, Helmet Crit! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> That's eight piercing damage! <laughs> As it shanks you right through the left side! Oh, oh that's. Oh, looks like oh. I've boggered this one as well. Oh, no. Go back from whence you came! And crit again! Oh, again! This little god, this little god. Okay, this little god. okay the, toll, the bells toll, and they do not toll for thee. Uh, oh, that's not good. Um. Great, hit it really hard, please. Elm? Uh, can I just disengage? I need to get out of melee. <laughs> that is fair. I want to be next, in melee next to Krayge and a skeleton. You're <laughs> able to disengage. Them. At this point, Irita and Ravri are coming through the door. The skeleton takes its short sword back out. It seems to be holding a short bow. Or, sorry, I believe it's a crossbow. Uh, no, it's a short bow. It, ha it has a short bow with an arrow knocked, and then it's still aiming at Helm. Krayge. <sighs> just get going with you. I'm gonna try to push it into the hole. <laughs> okay. Um, you're gonna shove it backwards five feet. Uh, it's going to try and make a deck save to hold on. Uh, oh. Okay. Roll that one. <laughs> <laughs> and down into the hole it goes. Laddie, we all have to learn. Sometimes we can't be lucky all the time. You roll me two d six for fall damage. Oh. I want to see if it dies. <laughs> sure. Watch it crawl its way back out. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Man, Skeleton came out swinging with two crits, then got shoved into a pit for near maximum fall damage. What the fuck? <laughs> That's just how little you meant. Well, Hell. at least I'm not that guy. Yes, I mean, that's what happens when you do dishonorable combat, obviously. I think it hit a rib. Mm, that's not good. Um, yeah. We come back in, she's like, Good news! He found the... Reverie, Reverie, Reverie. Fuck, right in the rib. <laughs> Reverie, give me to help. Uh, what? Oh, yes. He seems to be bleeding out. Oh, yes, he got stabbed in the back by a skeleton that was hiding behind him. It was very In the back, you say? That was dishonorable! Yes, I made sure he knew as such before Krej pushed him into the pit. Good on you! <laughs> <laughs> And goes to touch the wound, says a little, little cant under her breath, and will cast Cure Wounds. Yay! <laughs> oh, Crash, watch out for the spiders on the web. They're free, it looks like. Um, as long as you don't disturb them, they will not disturb you. I don't really care about them. What was the sword that we were looking for? Oh, uh, the Seer's sword. Okay. Did you find the Seer's sword? I thought it was sword? Spectre. Irita does a little fist, like a little, like, fist, fist, not fist bump, but, like, pump. That's the word. We did find a new room. Oh my god, so oh. in the room. Our friend, my friend the sword pointed it out. That tracks a seer sword, it is an illusion. That makes a lot of sense, I'm an idiot. An illusion that sees other illusions, what are they Callum, there's a spider. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, Callum, spider. One of, one of your friends. Yes. The spider is going to roll animal handling on you. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, the fact that a spider could come up to me, I was about to pull out a rash and try to get it to give me poison. It comes up to you and it holds a hand out as if it wants a piece. 
Callum oh, can just share your creepy puppies. Callum, I need you <laughs> to keep this one. I'll find familiar next level, and I need you to turn the spider into a familiar. Can we keep the little guy? No, 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 no. no. Callum doesn't cast find familiar. The spider casts. <laughs> the problem is the spider is familiar. Oh. There you are, right there. Uh, he'll put it like on his shoulder and like kind of rub it around in like a little pouch. Look at him, look at him! Where'd all the people sit on this? <laughs> guys, guys, I have the stupidest thing. If it's like put the put each instance of poison you found on a pedestal, and we just put the spider. A <laughs> <laughs> <Our> little treasure. <laughs> you know, Cal will like give it a little bit of a of a little meat jerky <laughs> ration again. All oh, right, lead the way, lead the way, Malay, referee. Hmm. Well, if if you're going to stay on my shoulder, I guess I need to give you a name. <laughs> oh, let's see. I can't you believe the spider crit on you. <laughs> referee, as you come back, the sword seems to be spinning again. It sees you come in. Uh, it, it, it'll dramatically point at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs> it's it's such a polite sword. It's such a polite sword. Oh dear. That looks quite, um... Yes! Oh, what does the room look like? I'm very curious. Blood. Lots of oh, blood. Skulls! My oh, goodness. Nice. The first thing I that is immediately apparent to you is your uh, glaring reflection in this mirror as it's like sort of a almost golden color. You can see yourselves reflected as well as the uh, seeing sword. Oh my goodness. Oh, so that's where it is. Callum gives a polite bow to the sword. Oh, thank you, Reverie's friend. So the sword does a <laughs> kind, of, kind of like a flourish. <laughs> you have a very good sword friend, Reverie. Any idea what I know. Sword this is? I imagine it's, um. Team I imagine it's here. nervous, honestly, considering. It seems a bit more. A cult I'm asking, than I was I'm expecting. I'm kind of asking a craze, because, you know, bloodhound. <laughs> he does have a good nose. I don't feel like it right now. Oh, I he's depressed. <laughs> okay, you open the chest. There seems to be 20 silver pieces and roll me a d You found a hand axe that seems to have its own belt sheath with it. And um, can you give me a history check, please? This seems to have been made by a high-quality dwarven blacksmith by the name of Tomu. Um, this is a simple 1d6 throwing axe, but it um, seems to have a high quality. It's a, it's a plus one on attack rolls with it. One throwing axe. And guess who just lost both of their hand axe throwing axe? I know, right? <laughs> Literally, I can't believe. <laughs> guess who's also not mentioning that as he pockets it? Oh my god, how much? Goodness. <laughs> I will also mention that in the corner, there is a ton of discarded pieces of paper with like, what looks like arcane scrawling all over them. Uh, now, as I, I turn know. around in this room from getting my loot, I have a history. Can I try to figure out what this room's uses were? Specifically, what rituals they might have been trying to perform? Yes, roll history with advantage. Can I do arcane instead? That, that would work as well. Of course I roll like shit. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever was going on here was some sort of a profane ritual. You can see runes inscribed into the room itself. And judging by the mirror on the other side, um, whatever ritual was being done here was one that required the contact of an interplanar being. This is some sort of a summoning spell or a maybe a binding ritual. Demon summoning extra altar, planar. maybe? You're not entirely sure what exactly, but it definitely had to do with Some sort program. of extra planar summoning. Probably devil or demon. Possibly summoning. Maybe binding. Oh, right. The ring. Could be her husband. Mm -hmm. yeah, shifting through the papers, because, you know, <laughs> fancy symbols <laughs> make brain go burr. Callum, can you make me an arcana check? Uh, okay, yeah, this is a bunch of, um, crossed out and really badly written versions of a, um... You've seen this before in mages who are trying to cast a spell that's too high of a level for them. They're poorly scrolled planar warp spells. I'm keeping these. <laughs> I will say all of them are incredibly wrong. You can tell immediately that there's just, like, a, a ton of weird, like, inconsistencies on them. 
Let's see, that would be incorrect. If you combine it with that, maybe that would work. Whoever did this, I was not a natural practitioner of the arcane. <laughs> well, clarify it. They definitely were a <laughs> practitioner. They just weren't a good one. <laughs> yeah. I, what, he, what he's essentially said is, they weren't a wizard, but they might yeah. have still been like a sorcerer or somebody else like or a, that. <laughs> or a hobbyist cultist or something. Yeah, you know. Like a... Anyway. Hobbyist. <laughs> you smell you, you, says. you know. Uh, Craig, you smell skull. <laughs> I dabble in demonic ritual summonings. I don't even feel like smashing this skull. Oh, Ooh. come on, Crash. It's right for the smasher. I guess you're right. Secrets to this mere hold. <laughs> You smash oh, it no. open. A little splash of water covers the ground from the skull. That's a different thing. Using the skull as a cup. <laughs> you look down, and it's not—it's not a traditional humanoid skull. There are some mm. interesting features on it. Sort of frayed edges and like elongated chins, and the eye sockets are huge. Uh, there's another one right under your foot, Reverie. Unsmashed currently. I pick it up. Uh -huh. It sloshes around. There seems to be some water in it. Can Irita use some of her medical history to see if this would be a race you could recognize? Yeah, of course. You recognize this because you've had to put one of these skulls on into a um a holy morgue, a resting place for someone who was uh, basically an ancient warrior of sorts, placed beneath in a crypt, a uh, member of an old clergy. Um, you recognize this as a merfolk. Skull. Oh, that explains the water. It's merfolk. You can merfolk. smell the salty brininess kind of coming from it. Seems to be filled mm. with ocean water. Yes, a humanoid of the ocean. Ocean moment. <laughs> Were they trying to contact the elemental plane of water? Um, that's a good question. Uh, looks at the notes again. <laughs> He's picked up. Are any of them written in the language of the water people? Uh, what languages do you know? Ha ha! Ha! I do know the language of the water people. You do? I know the language of all of the elemental language people. Oh, fuck yeah, because that's definitely written that in damn. primordial. You'd be 100% right. <laughs> oh, I think you're probably right on this one. Uh, this is written in... That case... I'm gonna like I love that I don't have taking anything. a look at the mirror. I'm gonna try to. Do you have no languages, Kat? No, I do have infernal and common. I just okay. don't have them written down. I like to imagine that Reverie is like, "What common? What is that?" <laughs> We're speaking English, obviously. We're speaking English, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, a, a common down as English. Chinese. Please call it English. <laughs> oh my god. Yo! Britain would be in hell in D&D. I'm part of the British Empire. Anna! Anna Mukambat! From oh, Britain! That's why he's chivalrous. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, Dick Churio! Chivalry never dies when Reverie is here. <laughs> you but my enemies will. I love them so much, Kev. What the fuck? You peasants need some civilizing! <laughs> uh, I thought I'm gonna push it up to face the ceiling so I can sneak under it to get by. Yeah. You, you do so, and there's like a barely hidden chamber back here. Kinda seems like a dead end. Yes. But the that's blood stain leads like. right up to the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going to be a fake wall or a hidden door. You guys hear this muffled as I just <laughs> not, do not turn around. And I yeah. just start. You I'm gonna use Mage Hand to tap on the wall because I'm not sticking my hand through a wall. I don't know what's on the other side. Interesting, your hand goes right through. Hey, good job, Mage Hand. You find the hidden wall every time. <laughs> yeah, hidden wall. Um, Caleb, do you want to try to figure that out? Uh, I can take Craig and Reverie to check what's on the other side of here other side through here. I mean, I could come with. I do have a little bit of pertinent information that I was explaining to the others. Um, the pertinent information was from my uh, now possible friend of Walter. Uh, when we move further in, beware the water. Honestly, I was kind of aware, kind of bewaring the water the whole time. Yes, I have a hunch. Um, I'd be surprised if he was the only aquatic creature in this building. Oh! 
true, very true, but I have a hunch on one of the creatures we might run into now that possible water play in a shenanigans is on the table. <laughs> I can think of I can think of one or two. Anyway, I'm gonna poke my head through. See soft, glowing blue mushrooms. A almost very calm little room. Is this just a giant mushroom or is this like a uh, mushroom it's covered like body? Plate Mm, okay, um, fair enough. And it actually looks a little bit closer to what you would expect from, like, coral or algae. Yeah, definitely more aquatic more aquatic starting to look like in here. Some of the stuff even looks like coral. Looks like there's a door going deeper in. I think we're on the right track. Reverend, would you mind going in front of me? I don't readily trust myself being right behind him. I don't want to die. Of course. Uh, small woman, do you want to get down? Do you want to be behind me? Um... I think it's probably best I'm in between everyone, so well, I can perform healing if needed. So, yes, I'd still like to stay on your back. <laughs> Great! Oh, fair. Oh, my, shut the door on the door, no! <laughs> Ari <laughs> taught it's clipped out of the wall! Ari taught in the to door! To the abyss with me. <laughs> Start the Gmod clipping into the wall. <laughs> Roll a d100, Penny. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Yo, bet, watch this. If you get a one, you're teleporting <laughs> to the abyss. Ah! <laughs> 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 no! Oh, God, no, not actually, but oh my god, I can't believe you actually rolled a one! <laughs> Oh, I had a feeling like that's why I did it. Oh, <laughs> it's always so the most inconvenient hilarious. time. Anyway, I'm gonna open this door and die instantly. It's, it's locked. locked. <laughs> oh, it's locked. I don't have any lock picks. Do any of those else have any lock picks? I have a warhammer. But we have Krage. I don't think we should. That's true. I have one thing problem. <sighs> Let's, I'm just gonna pick up. What are lock pick picks? Up. Is it. These mushrooms. Is it. It's like a fancy key. Like, uh, do I just say that one and point at the lock? Mm -hmm. I pick the lock? Picking up no. all the mushrooms. You notice all of the mushrooms around the room seem to almost quiver when you do that? The lock picks are kind of like little hooks that you use to unlock a door you don't have a key to. Why would you not have a key? Because usually it's used by thieves, burglars. But um, it's also used by people who sometimes are... Locksmiths? Mm -hmm. Yes, locksmiths that need to be able to open your door so they can figure out the right. Yes. Your spider friend starts tapping your shoulder. Quickly. Oh, he does. Mm -hmm. What he need? Oh, uh, what's what's that, my little friend? He looks scared. Oh. Aww. It is. What are you, what's causing you distress? I you think like the other room with the mushrooms. This one also might the mushrooms might have been more connected. Right, I could be. When I walk away from that big mushroom, does he get a little nope. less scared, or is he still Craig, alive? Craig, it's the wall instead of the door. You miss the door completely. Craig, that's, that's not the that's not the door. Hey, <laughs> or maybe give me a hand and point me towards the actual door. Perfect. I will reach Come over on. and turn Craig towards the actual door. Thank you. Okay, with a bash, roll damage, please. Okay, you crack open half of the door. One more good hit should open it. Step back. Not quite done yet. The door is bloodied. Roll again. <laughs> okay, you bash it open. In we go. Wonderful. Oh, that I'm going to put some poison on portal. every pedestal. That is <laughs> six pedestals. All right, in we go. Oh, uh, right. And I was saying... Try uh, not to touch the cobwebs. Yes, do try not to touch this uh, mushroom either. My little friend does not seem to like it. Mm -hmm. Quickly goes oh, past. Mushrooms. <sighs> and as yeah. you step into this room, you notice that there's a sort of soft breeze flowing through the area. Cobwebs tremble all around. The soft sound of water coming from spigots in the ceiling. These ornate pillars all across. And a small stone archway leading up to a glowing blue ritualistic portal of sorts. And then, before you even do much, the portal starts to glow. Oh. What's that? Is something happening? I think something's coming through the portal. As you see a bright flash of Not blue it. light, 
something steps through the portal. Large. Can I try to get to the portal first and try to crash it with my <laughs> fucking mole? <laughs> try yes. to crack it? You're gonna have to roll a dex check. Okay, that's pretty good. You rush forward, you slam your mole down, and there is a crack in the stone as half of something steps through. Mushroom? Looks uh, very much like a large humanoid made entirely of fungus. It gets just its arm out as you crack it in the runes just a little bit. Ah! It then is going to hold its hand up and there is a of spores out from its hand and you see all around the room there are entities detaching themselves from the walls. Can I get everyone to roll initiative, please? I'm also figuring out what I'm named mm. my spider friend. Hell yeah. <laughs> They're named Lacey. <laughs> that's yeah, cute. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, I'm going to give it a disadvantage on its first attack roll because of what you did, Duncan. Yay. You crit failed. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, it is a Mykonoid. I haven't seen a Mykonoid in a while. God, I wonder yeah, if it's... it is. Mykonoid Sovereign. Jeez. Oh, yeah. oh, those guys are nasty. <laughs> Yeah, I had it as a fun, fun I've been wanting thing. to use these guys for a while. I those think they're so sure cool. are fun guys. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so Helm, you are up first. It seems like those skeletons are rearing to make an attack at you. They have bows? They both have short bows. Oh, fuck me. Such, I'm gonna pop over here to hide behind one pillar compared to one of the guys and still have a full view of the other skelly and I'm gonna activate my warlock thing please tell me that you're the one yeah. I think you are I'm gonna activate my form of dread <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, hi, hi dude what the fuck <laughs> oh hello eldritch root dark runes glow all over my body <laughs> I'm starting to think Helm's not a normal guy. <laughs> what the hell would give you that idea? <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot the skelly man. Deal seven with the shot of Eldritch Blast. And I need it to make a wisdom saving throw, unless it's immune to being frightened. <laughs> uh, that is a 16. Okay, it saves. Okay, it's not frightened from you, but it does seem to be incredibly hurt as it shudders off the wall, uh, basically ripping out of the spider webs. You'll notice that actually a little bit of them are still trailing behind it. On initiative order 18, after you hit the skeletons, you're going to notice the spider webs undulate and shake as a sort of response echoes throughout the room and spiders drop down from the ceiling, three on you, Helm, and three in the other corner. Uh, basically, you are now covered in spiders from head to toe, uh, and they're going to start trying to crawl into your cloak and bite you. Wait, Lacey, look away. I do not. <laughs> a 10 to hit, a 7 to hit, and a 16. The uh, last one will hit. Okay, you're going to take one piercing and make a DC 9 con save, or you're going to take three poison. <laughs> Tally, that's my awesome. So you're going to take three poison as well from that bite. To my temp HP. <laughs> yep, and the other spiders are going to start crawling down their very slow. Uh, the one on your shoulder, Richard, uh, just kind of pats your shoulder, just, like, anxiously. Yeah, you'll be perfectly fine, Lacey. I'll protect you. Okay. The skeleton pulls himself off, takes a short bow, is going to aim it at you, Helm. Uh, so that's a seven to hit, so that is not going to hit you as the arrow into the wall. Um, the other one tears himself out and comes up here, right next to the Mykonid, and is going to aim his crossbow at Callum. Oh, you bitch! Sorry. Ah! Ah, hey, but that is a well critical then. failure. Uh, the bowstring snaps. Bro. Yes! Skeleton holds the stick. Looks at the stick. Uh. <laughs> Eerie. <laughs> uh, say, Kat, are you planning on being Reverie and running in? Yes. Is it possible you can still hold, hold me for something so I can ready in action? <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to hold on to you, I'll pull out my axe instead of my greatsword. I... I want to ready an action for an Eerie's in melee range. Yeah, sure. One hand the small. Two cast and flick wounds. Oh! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Okay. All right. I hope that you've not got all those poisons ready. Uh, Crash, there's a giant mushroom in front of you along with a skeleton that you might want to, um, smash. Great. Can I step through like this, uh, stone arch stone here? Yeah. Then I guess it's the skeleton's turn to die. Oh. Or not. A swing and a miss. I, I'll keep him busy. Very good. Very good. Um, right. I'm going to make sure that nothing comes in behind us, at least. Luckily, I can determine what comes in and out of my cube. 
Black cube. I pressed the third face. All right. <laughs> Again. A cube erupts around you. He wants to get in range. We're going to get in fucking range. Yeah. So you aren't going to take any damage because you quickly go over it, but you will feel your boots start to sizzle. That seems to be acid. <laughs> oh. um, if you were to end your turn in that, you will take damage. Okay. And Irita, you are in range of the Mykonid. Okay. Boop. Uh, that will hit. Oh, thank God. Mm. Yes. Well, hey, that's still 12 necrotic damage. damage. As you touch it and you notice parts of it start to wither. Uh, and again, there's that shudder all around. It stops withering. As instead, mm. the wither transfers to the skeleton and it immediately crumbles to dust. Mm. That was my last spell slot. That's very good, though. Okay, so it's going to fully push itself out of the summoning circle. Uh, it holds its hand out and you're going to see that there's just a of um yellowish spores uh reverie i'm gonna need you to make a con save mm, okay. okay that is going to be a failure uh you have the poisoned condition and would i be able to use the idol of jupiter for Reverie? interesting i'm not against that i think you could be able to do that okay and then she's she's seeing the spores just going to say jupiter <laughs> and hold out the statue okay you may roll again that'll give you advantage <laughs> uh, unfortunately that's still a failure i I tried. I'm fucked. Okay, so you have the poison condition, and uh, Reverie, essentially what's going to start to happen is you're going to start to see pretty dancing lights all around you. You no longer see anyone in the room as you start to hallucinate. Uh, that is its turn. Helm. You know, it's Crage. He can probably succeed the saving throw. Um, I'm assuming since I'm not technically leaving any of these guys uh, attack range since they're on me, can I just run? Can you Can run move? with the spiders on you? Yeah, sure. Okay, 15, 30, c going across the bridge like that. Okay. <laughs> cool. I cast my arms of Hadar. Arms of Hadar. All right. Arms of Hadar. I, I don't know what that is. Don't ask things, but, uh, every creature within a 10 foot radius of me has to make a strike safe. As uh, tendrils of dark energy erupt from me and batter all creatures. <laughs> so include Crage. Yes. And referee? Not Why referee. You... They're just out of range. They're just out of like, range? Okay. But I got ah, thank you. all the spiders, him, and Krage. Sorry, Krage, I couldn't get you out of there. Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't have enough movement speed. <laughs> okay, they all fail. I cut okay, so they take... eyes. <laughs> okay, yeah. The arms they, come they out they and take... smash all three spiders <laughs> off of you, ripping and tearing them off of your cloak, and then they go further to the Myconid. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, Crage! <laughs> no! Crage is so bad! <laughs> not again! Not again! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, the Mykonid also I fails. Swear. <laughs> so he takes eight and he loses his reaction. Okay. Reaction gone. And uh, I also need him to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, that is a 12. That's a fail. He's now frightened. Okay. <laughs> Mikey, as soon as you said, oh yeah, Crage will succeed this DC, you doomed me. <laughs> you doomed me from that moment. All you had to do was roll 11 or above. It was a All you had to do was not jinx it. it. Don't you know how these things work, man? <laughs> Well, it was either that or accidentally one-shot Arita. You're gonna yeah. notice as three True. spiders run forward towards you and start donking their heads against this wall. <laughs> yep. Callum <laughs> is in his safety. Cube. All three of them make attack rolls. All three of them do nothing. Because wall of fire, sorry, keep sorry. it for us. Uh, and then the boy, um is going to run forward. And Reverie, where are you carrying Arita exactly? She is on my shoulder. Uh, right or left <laughs> shoulder? Left. Okay, it's gonna attack you then. That is a 17 to hit. That is amazing. Okay, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna do one piercing damage. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Let's go, skeleton. Nice <laughs> uh, the other skeleton is dead. Irita. Uh, Sorry about Krish. Okay, okay, we can warhammer. Pop off, Reverie. <laughs> yeah, gonna pop down. Uh, uh, Irita, the skeleton catches your warhammer as it comes down, just with one hand. It looks at you oh. and it rattles. You're so strong, you're bounced! <laughs> Courage, give me a death save. Please roll an at 20. No. Fail. One out of three. Uh, Callum. Oh, uh, I do have one of Minerva's potions back here if anyone could get to me. I'd like to suddenly learn Dimension Door. <laughs> Starts to speak in a different tongue again, and uh, I cast Hold the Dead on the Mike Go Boy. 
Well, they did on the micro boy. Okay. It's going to take three necrotic as it starts to um, emit spores from its nostrils. Nostrils? Maybe. Oh, beard? <laughs> Reverie. You're currently seeing stars. You think the myconids in front of you? Oh. Reverie will attempt to hit it. Reverie thinks it's in front of them. Okay, so all this is is an attack roll with disadvantage, and that is going to hit. Oh my god. All right. Black. You get an opportunity to make a con save. Don't roll like shit, Rev. You've uh, okay. been rolling so well. That yeah. wasn't it. You're no longer you're no <laughs> longer poisoned, the and the stars go away. Oh, hey, look, you hit it. <laughs> Take this, you mushroom bastard! <laughs> uh, the mushroom bastard seems to be having uh, had enough of that. Uh, it's going to take its long arm back, and it seems like it's going to try and slam it down directly on Irita. Oh, uh, that is a 16 no! to hit. Which is yeah. going to do 5 bludgeoning damage and 4 poison damage. I've only got 14 AC, yeah, I'm going to disengage. <laughs> yep, sounds good. I'm going to use the disengage action and I'm going to get behind this pillar. Alright, uh, yeah, that's a good choice because there are more spiders dropping down. Not where you are, but uh, on the other side. They are going to run over and it seems like, okay, Reverie, this is fucked up. Uh, they start jumping onto Irita and they start crawling towards her mouth. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. Yep! <laughs> Yeah. You get to be the honorary skeleton. Do... Here's the question. Do... Do... do, do trying to climb into her mouth count as leaving my attack radius? <laughs> <laughs> because... Because it makes sense to give you an opportunity to react to this? Yes. You can spend your reaction if you want to do something. Uh, what can I do? Could I theoretically light one of my blocks of incense to try to smoke... <laughs> Brilliant! Yes, yes, definitely. Oh my god! I have a priest pack. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. You light some incense. I have two blocks of incense and a censer. No! You <laughs> okay. I know so how this is gonna work. Afraid. Instead of going to, to, to her mouth, they jump onto your hand. All three of them are gonna bite your hand. <laughs> no. Better than in her mouth. It's a Very half success. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, six, six, and a 13. <laughs> no, no, and no. All right. And then the skeleton in front of you is going to stab you again. <laughs> Good fucking luck. 20. <laughs> Does four piercing. Oh, no. Yeah, the other skeleton's down. Irita, I'm going to need a Can death I save. Can I please spontaneously at 20? That would be, not, 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 right be really please. awesome. Yeah. Oh, some oh, failure. No. This one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cringe. My dead. Your turn. No, no. That's a fair oh, failure! Oh. It's been nice knowing y'all. Okay. Me and are on our way out. Callum. Hey. Oh, hey, a skeleton boy. Click, click, a turn. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything to you yet, but uh, all three spiders that are assaulting uh, Reverie. One, two, three, four. Ah, yes. Oh, wait, three. Sorry. Only three. Well, Shit, brain. One, two, and then uh, three. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, comrade! She got a funny potion. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> now, bonus potion? action, drink a potion. Yes. Bro, you actually oh, we might need that. Nice with white hair. Every, could you get them, possibly? Well, I just lit some incense. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Which involved fire. Oh my god. And I'm right next to the plant thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have my tinderbox. Can I basically kind of get the the incense hotter in the censure, and then can I use the censure as a mace? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. You you've seen the like incense censure? Well, yeah, they're like, just a big piece of metal on like a. Stick, yeah, it's right? basically a mace. It's basically yeah. a mace. Okay. Yeah. yeah Roll it as if it's a mace. Rad. It's metal. Um, on top of that, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna let you trigger a weakness of it. Oh. Technically, it's weak to fire. Technically. It's more so that it's weak to the bright light. Uh, so as you swing down this burning incense sort of aperture, uh, you notice that parts of it start to shrivel up and shy away from it. Uh, so I'm gonna give you advantage. Oh shit. And it's triggering its sun sickness for a turn, which is going to give it disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls for a round. So, oh my god. Oh good, 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 yeah. good. Yes, I made yes, the right yes, choice. Yes. Yeah, no, no, you gave it this. So it tries to slam its fist down on Reverie. Reverie, you easily deflect it. It's going to take a step back. Can I attack a power of two Yes, you can. And what you're going to see is spores are going to come from it as the skeleton on the floor is going to reanimate. Fuck! Mm -hmm. 
but no crash. <laughs> All I can do is Eldritch Blast. Hope Ariana and Crash don't fail their death saves again. If Crash fails his Callum. next death save, he's just going to die. I hate that. Yeah. Oh. I don't have anything to stop it, though. I'm what if I had a healing? I mean, we all knew going in that it was a possibility. <laughs> yeah. You could medicine check him. You can go <laughs> up to him. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro. Medicine check me and watch how much I help once I'm back up. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if Craig is ever going to come back from the brink of an L like that. His entire uh, soul was crushed. Just going to he just lost 9,000 gold today. <laughs> Yeah. I'm struggling with some gamblers reverse. And shoot the Mykonoid. All right. Okay, it's gonna do five force damage. It seems like it's really struggling. It is going to succeed on the whiz save. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop down around here because okay, I don't want to be anywhere near the skeletons. Uh, I'm gonna roll an intelligence check for these spiders to see that they're not doing anything. Let's see if they can figure out that the cube of force is impenetrable. That's a one. That's a one. <laughs> that's a two. <laughs> <laughs> they keep attacking you. Please stop the spiders. I really do not want to harm the friends of the possible friends of my little Lacey here. It is very much. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lacey. It's like a silly fly that got trapped in like a bus. If they had succeeded, I would have attacked Helm, but they're really stupid. Uh, <laughs> this skeleton here is going to reach down to Irita's body. Pick up the warhammer and swing it at Reverie. <laughs> oh, okay. It's an eight to hit. Oh okay. my god. Okay, so it, it swings the giant warhammer and it it just completely goes off course and misses and stumbles. River just looks at it. I'm not even sure fighting you is honorable. <laughs> There's a bone oh, behind no. you. And <laughs> it's my rat stained warhammer. That's another 12 to hit. So, Reverie, as that's happening, a short sword comes in for you, and again, you're able to just sidestep it. Uh, and here's the here's the scary part. Right, Eerie. Mm, okay. Save. Someone roll a crit. What if you two roll a crit? Okay. What kind of crit? At least a ten. But not twenty. Please don't crit fail. Please don't crit fail. Uh, Please. Oh! oh, oh failure! Uh, almost yes. Not. Almost yes. Yes. Crit fail. It's not a one. We're okay. We're in it, gamers. You gotta okay. hold them hey, yeah, thank you, thank you, Richard, for praying for my life as well. I really appreciate that, man. Live, I like no, yeah. no. no. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want you. If I didn't want you to live, I would have left you to the fucking Walter. Oh, oh. maybe you fucking should have. <laughs> no. What are you saying? I am part. Stop. Any last words is Crage Prince's last breath. No! I'll say my last words if anyone makes it out of this. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, good everyone else is good. good luck and Godspeed, <laughs> heroes. Callum. I just don't uh, think we're going to well, make it out of this. Callum uh, is going to start walking forward. Because, you know, this thing will push the spiders. Push out the, the spiders way. out of the way. Because uh, I feel like it's pretty easy to see, like, Craig is no longer breathing. Yeah. His nose has finally stopped twitching after all these, oh. uh, after all these hours. God, he, 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 he the, the brightest lights Craig. burn so shortly. <laughs> Callum gets up to here. Very annoyed. Very, uh, not happy. Hmm. You really shouldn't have done that. It was a bonus action to drink the potion, yeah? Yep. Yes. Yeah, I'm drinking it. All right. 2d4? Yep. Kill them. Hey. Hmm. Right. Could you do me a good favor? I need you to die for me. Oh, and I'm going to cast uh, Witch Bolt at the fucking uh, mic. Oh, Witch Bolt, all right. Ooh. That will hit. All right. Uh, yeah. Seven lightning damage. All right. You start to electrocute it. The chain of lightning ties you to it. You can feel everything in the room shuddering. <laughs> the hair goes back to, you know, the slightly dull. Uh, Reverie, you don't have to worry about him. I'll make sure he dies. Save her, if you could. I'll do my best. Be prayed. <laughs> uh, can I try to stabilize her? Yes, you're gonna need to roll a medicine check. <laughs> At least the DC's not the worst. At least the DC's not the worst. <laughs> 
I, I wouldn't believe in you. I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't do this off often. often. <laughs> it's a DC check. 10. Okay. Oh. It's a straight D20. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> now get the fuck out of there! Okay, <laughs> no. Irita is stable. Can I pick her up? Yes. <laughs> I might actually live! Was it my action to stabilize? Yes. <laughs> it's fine. You got her though. Do I attempt to leave? Can I go to the yes, forest? Yes, you can go to the forest. He is allowing you to at least. Yeah, you, you would take two skeleton attacks. I will tell you they're not very good at hitting you. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna fuck off. Yeah, stay we're gonna fuck forest. off. All right. Stay in the forest, there's spiders. I will stay say this one still has Irita's Warhammer, so it is swinging with that. I'm gonna make the Warhammer attack first. Is a 12 to hit. The Warhammer misses. Nope. The second one is a 16 to hit. Almost gets you. Nope. Oh, thank God. Grazes the your tail. The You're out. <laughs> Stay in the force. The spiders can't harm you. River is just going to brush them with the hair out of Eric's face. Oh. That's my turn. Her breathing is shallow. <laughs> and struggling against the lightning, it takes a shuddering step. After a shuddering step. It pushes the skeleton aside, takes another step forward, Bonk. <laughs> and it's gonna throw its hand up. Uh -huh. And you were going to see as tendrils from the ground, mushrooms that had been sort of inlaid in the stone pass, start to wrap up and around into Krage's boots. And you're going to notice as he stands back up. No, he got through the fucking tomb. <laughs> Ah! I'm gonna give him. Okay, he's got six HP and has been reanimated. Maybe crazy alive again. Okay. <laughs> he looks at you. Um, he doesn't look very alive. Yeah. There's mushrooms coming out of his nose. His nose is not nearly. Twi it's twitching again, <laughs> guys. It's twitching again. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the mic and I. Yeah. You basically blast through its head, and it starts to fall. And yet there's still movement in the room. <laughs> it seems like it hasn't fallen. It's transferring the damage again, it isn't it? It keep these damn fungus down! Yes, it is. Uh, of course it is. And that's its reaction. Hey, make me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> it just yeah, out of the corner you, of his eyes help fucking staring daggers. It's a 15. Does that succeed? Uh, meets it beats it, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And then I'm gonna... Not going through the acid, I'm gonna do that. You're gonna go into the <laughs> forest? Alright. Right. Yeah, I don't want to get bitten by spiders. Good plan, because here they come, and they're jumping and biting at you. One tries to jump at your tail, Reverie. <laughs> This first cube is the most useful the magic skeleton item comes have. forward. <laughs> It'll throw the warhammer through the cube right at you. Uh, how much? Eerie, can you roll a warhammer damage for me, please? Yeah, I can. Fiend in the head, and you're going to take eight bludgeoning. I'm really hurting right now. Eerie, I'm going to let you get back up on one HP. Oh, God. Kind soul. <laughs> you're kind soul, Telly. <laughs> or maybe this is cruel. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Uh, Eerie would consider it cool looking at Krage. Krage is coming forward, and as he walks mm. underneath the archway, there's one of the branches just kind of snags on his head, and you see as his his beanie is just pulled right off, and you can see fungus <laughs> growing under his eyelids, under his nose, everything. Mm. Eerie, if you could, I don't know, get... Man, away from me, whoever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What beautiful eyelashes? Oh my god. Fucking god. What's beautiful what's face, Jeff. Oh, get him away from me, please, somebody. I, I'm, oh, she's the way. She's, she's, she's gonna struggle up. Really? Gonna reach to, reach to her side. <laughs> Gonna pick up her like crossbow. Mm -hmm. Gonna aim it at Krage. No. No. Of oh, course. Oh. Oh. As it goes oh. in, it hits one of the eyes, and the arrow just shatters on impact. Like I imagine, it snaps his head back, and then it just slowly like turns it back down to face you. Oh. Krage, you're an enemy. All right, Callum, say your prayers. Oh. Uh, so that is a 14 to hit. Sorry about this, Richard. Uh, that's 
Oh, 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 kills him. I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> it's double as hell. Jesus I'm Christ! Dead. I'm not gonna do the double health thing. You're gonna go down. I don't like that. Okay. I don't want the insta kill. That's not fun. But you will go down. At least the cube's still up for the moment. Yeah, the cube is still up. My Which bolt goes down. Your spider's yeah. gonna fall with you. It's gonna crawl out of your pocket. It's gonna come out onto your, like, cloak. Yeah. As he falls, Craze will kind of like lower the maul, crack his neck, like his shoulder. He's going to step over the corpse, like kind of, <laughs> since he's down and now kind of like taking up the same space. <sighs> Alum roll a death save. <sighs> it's one failure. Fuck. Where were your crits from last session? The cat has them. I've been critting so much. Can you continue to crit? It is your turn. <laughs> Okay, I'm equipping my shield. Step slightly in front of Yuri. I pull out the fucking sensor base. <laughs> Fuck him up! Fuck! Yo! <laughs> okay! How do you end, Crage? Ideally, by, like, full-on, like, whipping it on the chain, hitting him, like, hard to the left, out of the cube, into the acid. Just sizzles. <laughs> Yes, his mad mustache burned off. All right. The witch bolt fizzles out. The myconid regains its composure, still on just one health, trying to find any way to get into here. It's going to slam its fist onto the cube by smashing the side of the cube of force, and since Callum's not currently holding it, shoving it backwards to try and get Reverie out of the force so it can hit them. I'm gonna shoot the myconid. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah! Okay, eight force damage. It's going to transfer it to this skeleton on the left. It's going to fall. That is its reaction. Make a wisdom save. Yep. It fails. Oh it is frightened. Right, it's frightened. Um, this skeleton, the only one that's able to get anywhere close, is going to use this opportunity to try and swing at basically just like your fingertips that are sticking out of the cube of forest reverie. Good luck. Uh, yeah, it's probably not going to hit, but you know. Yeah, that's a seven. Nope. All right, the other skeleton's down. Irita. I st stabilize Callum. Okay, give me a medicine check, DC 10. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Callum is stable. He will be up on his next turn with one health. Okay. God. Which just so happens uh. to be right now. Callum, <laughs> you're both splitting headache, but you're up. Callum. Pick up Lacey, because you know you have to you. just... Um, be able to say right up here onto the shoulder again. <laughs> uh, cough out a little bit of blood. I'm sorry, I thought I told you that's a fucking die. Ah. <laughs> uh. Two into it, <laughs> the third one into the skeleton. <laughs> All around the room, webs shudder. As the mica did, finally falls. No, no, poor bastard. No, don't stand in the acid, you stupid. Don't worry, I sign in it has both the orb and the cube. Right. That's the drag craze. Uh, who's gonna deal with the spiders? Are they still poking at the cube? <laughs> I think that we're fine as long as that thing is dead, possibly. Set Krage's body down, dripping with acid. Parts of his mustache started to melt. <laughs> no. Gaseous wound in his body, the mushroom spores sort of withering up inside. It's a dreadful sight. I'm gonna take back the the fucking alchemy junk. Oh, <laughs> that <forward>. hurts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To think for a second, you knew what all your faces look like. Don't do that. It's Irita's already getting survivor's guilt. Oh, oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Fucking Callum uh, checks them chug to see if it's. It's not all that bad. Beer. Maybe he had lost everything before he died, but at least he had that. Callum tries to make it make booze again, like he had earlier that Crage made. It does so, it fills up with alcohol. Dwarven mead. He pours it on Crage. <sighs> yeah. Pour one yeah. out, homie. Pour one out. Pour for one God. out. <laughs> Duncan, bravo, my man. 
<laughs> we were joking about how you would be the first to die. I didn't think it would be this quick. <laughs> it also was like in the most tense way possible. Yeah, he went forward to save everyone. Him. After yeah, like a moment him. of losing his whole mind and like going on a depression arc. Fucking dramatic yeah. shit. Holy I God. Fucking get coming after the back of the fucking fight in the boss room. Anyway, Callum was fucking like starting to befriend him. I and didn't everything. think I'd be able to use the fucking reanimating spores on Crane. <laughs> 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 uh, the Mykonoids are fun, aren't they? They are. Oh, yeah. uh, 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 the mini boss. You guys are gonna get a level. Oh, that's a mini boss. That's the mini boss. Ah. Yeah. That's yep. the mini boss. That was the mini boss. <laughs> Called it. Oh, right. I kind of. Uh... Walter's just like, how dare you? That was my husband. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked. That was my house. Oh, I fuck. <laughs> hey, we're very conveniently ignoring the fact that Helm literally killed me. Yeah. <laughs> that. I literally did. I literally killed you. Oh god, oh, I have, uh... I, oh, right. I forgot! I'm the, dude, I'm the one who refused to heal you him with forgot? my dude. I'm I did! I forgot it was Kill his him. ability that downed you! I legitimately forgot! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just assumed it was some sort of, I'm like, rolling my new from... character, a background cultist hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a cultist. Uh... <laughs> Is no <laughs> it begins. The cat and mouse game begins, Mikey. <laughs> God, this does not go anywhere to support that you and I do not have beef, Doug. And I swear to God, we just put that in. <laughs> Kyle kind of like looks to the others and just like, do you mind if we go outside first? Give him a proper burial? I would um, appreciate that. I would like to say a few hymns. Like me. Because I don't want to leave his body in here. It might become absolutely not dead again. Um, You're gonna notice that when he had gotten chucked to the side, his warhammer had landed over here on the ground, or his mole, uh, and in, yeah. in in almost like an ironic type of way, you see that the mole is half sticking through the wall. <laughs> Even in death, he found treasure. Oh my god! Oh. Callum's gonna you fucking pick up Crane's body again. Can we bury him in there? It's probably I... what he wants. Hang on. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. All of you get to roll a d100. Each of you is gonna get your own loot item from this. It is uh, a spell scroll for Moonbeam. Ah! Reverie. Dude, is my favorite item in this goddamn game. <gasps> no way. Unironically, my favorite item in all of D&D. No way, it can't be. I'm just gonna tell you what it is. You got a robe of useful items. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be the robe lobster tank. Small. No, it's not the I lobster was thinking tank. About it too. <laughs> I'm Kiana once again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> River is a very curious being. Can I pull off the random gener randomly generated spell scroll patch? Yeah. You tear it off and a piece of pe piece of paper materializes in your hand. Oh hey. Um robe of useful items. It's a spell scroll of rope trick. Okay. Helm, what you find Even is a I... funny little elven cap with uh, with what looks like mer people ears on it, um, and little fish patterns. You got a cap of water breathing. Mm. Yeah, but the stipulation is that you have to look like an idiot while wearing <laughs> it. It. <laughs> it makes you look like an absolute buffoon, but you can breathe underwater with this cap. <laughs> huh. Neat. What you know? This actually makes sense considering she was trying to contact the. Yeah, it really does, right? <laughs> Very fitting. Uh, and then, last but not least, Irita. Uh, <laughs> uh, you found a little knapsack. Seems magical in some way. Uh, you look a little closer. Oh, interesting. You've seen one of these before. You got a bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were you're gonna say you were Tandy Haversack. <laughs> You get a bag with it's some old mint candy now. in it. And because of this, I would like you to roll me a D983, because there's something inside of this bag. D983, got it. Mm -hmm. You you have a, a pair of steel flasks with a wax seal bearing the symbol of a saint. 
Each of them contains holy water. Oh, huh. okay. I don't know how the game fitting. knows. That's so fitting. Really fitting. Hell yeah, I love getting loot while the Eerie says depressed. <laughs> You're crying, but at least you can fill your tears up into this flask. <laughs> it'll, fill, it'll fill the gap, right? Uh, it might. Yeah. It yeah, might. Totally, totally. I just love the fact that Cobb has this scroll of moon It's just like, I literally have no idea how to use this. <laughs> um, basically, you'll, you'll, you'll head back out of the dungeon momentarily. Um, you will see Minerva still there on the way out. Hello, pretty snake lady! Um, one of our compatriots unfortunately passed. Callum, like, has courage, like, attached to his pack as best he can to carry him. My condolences. I did tell you that it was dangerous there, but I, um... It does not feel good knowing that someone died on my behalf. Uh, Well, at least he went down swinging, as it were. And, you know, it was better that he died fighting than dying to uh, Walter, which is whom he almost died to the first time. What did he almost he... die to Walter? Ah, uh, he kind of upset him by trying to shove a javelin at him. He's a bit of a treasure junkie. Walter had a pile. Minerva yes. looks deeply concerned. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we Krage's made... the kind of guy to attack the horror bugs with a stop and she, sign. She keeps looking concerned. <laughs> she looks at Krage, she looks at Callum, and then she just goes... Oh, I do hope Walter's okay. <laughs> oh, no, Walter's perfectly <laughs> fine. Uh, Callum will swap to uh, Abyssal for a moment. We had a very nice conversation. Oh, that's good. <laughs> he doesn't get out very much. Yes, I do believe I will probably go and uh, spend some time with him between adventures. Um, we took down... Uh, a myconid like creature. A myconid? Came... Yes, it came through a portal. Interesting. Maybe what else? Maybe that would explain what sort of force has invaded my dungeon. Yes, um, by any chance, uh, Cal will like leaning closer in the space. Was your. uh, fiance from the plane of water? Any chance? <laughs> fiance? <laughs> she like puts a hand up to her face. Where did you get that idea from? <laughs> oh, I thought that you were engaged, if I understood correctly from my conversation with Walter. Not to him, but to somebody else. She gets kind of just like a distant look on her face for a second. I was. <clears throat> Reverie. It is nice there. Reverie slides open. <laughs> you could show her the thing we found if you would like. I think that might make her a little happy. The ring. <laughs> I, I don't. Reverie will pull out the ring. Is that? Snake lady, is this yours? Yes. Where did you find that? In a chest guarded by some rats. a silly place for a tent up. May I have that? It's yours. Well, yes, of course. Uh, she'll reach out and try and grab it, and her hand will just pass right through it. Oh. And she gets kind of a pained look, and then she just goes, uh, Seems as though I cannot. I will keep it safe for you. Thank you. Ring. It's a great deal to me. Reverie will give a little bow. I will protect it with my life. She nods, and you'll see also the. Federal charisma? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, she, <laughs> um. Also, her little snakes bow to you in her hair. And she seems to have a softer expression, a lighter complexion to her face. <laughs> I won't be going anywhere. Go ahead and do your business. I'll be here when you get back. We will be back? Oh, yes, a- assuming you want to come back, if you didn't want to, it, I would understand. Losing a compatriot is devastating. 
Oh. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> she doesn't know that. <laughs> I know that I will be coming back at least. I still have a mission to do. I gave my word. And also I promised my new friend in the basement that I would visit again. <laughs> also I made another new friend. Oh, this is Lacey. <laughs> Look, it's a spider <laughs> on the shoulder. <laughs> One of the snakes licks its snake lips. <laughs> Minerva just gently babs it. No, we don't need friends. It is your friends, not food. And as you continue to head back to the sort of capital city, we'll pick up next time with saying goodbye to a friend. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> mm, do I take fine thumbnail here? No treasure. No, delete treasure, no life. <laughs> Thank you everybody for playing today's session of Low Concept. Uh... Oh no, no strength save. <laughs> Let's take a look at some art. Oh my god. I'm Duncan, if you want to say anything about Crage. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, first of all, I want to get through some art so we can send Mikey off to bed. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, hi. Let's start with Form of Dread. Uh, all the art was great and I loved it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. <laughs> totally not a cultist. Totally She's a normal guy. Totally woman. not a cultist. <laughs> she might cultist. be a man of faith. And, uh, a dark faith. Yeah, uh, you just don't want to know faith. who I'm worshipping. Uh, out favorite. of game, I have started to uh, successfully complete my man's mission because he is a cultist of fucking you know, the Elder of the Ark Lich Malpath. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm literally just here to kill you guys. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, he's literally a cultist of the main villain. <laughs> that, that is not hilarious. hilarious. That, that, that is fucking hilarious. hilarious. He is oh the Ark Lich Malpath. Oh Mikey, my god. You have to be honest with me. Was you down in Crage purposeful then? Uh, I, I, I needed to get one person in there, yeah. <laughs> I didn't <I> actually <laughs> expect Crage to succeed. I. <laughs> <laughs> Oh bro, if, if, if you reach out everywhere like, inside, bro. Like, it'd be too suspicious if I got two people in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, okay, Do yeah. not let her reach to learn that. <laughs> well, hopefully she oh, never god. will. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh god, uh, you need to I'm know not worried about what Arita would do. Arita's too kind of a flower. Dear god, if the paladin fights <laughs> Hello! Arita's too kind of a flower. Speaking of which, she has survivor's guilt now. <laughs> Speaking of which, I believe there were some small changes that I made. Oh, yeah. Updated. I'm so curious. To a certain to reverie. Oh, well, yeah. I'm curious. Okay. I can't wait for one it's day. It's gonna be gonna be Helm, and it's gonna be Reverie 1v1-ing. God. And then, we get to, then I'm gonna ask Duncan, I'm like, gonna be like, hey, can you make Reverie look really mad? <laughs> <laughs> I just I just flip the eyebrows upside down. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Callum just over in the corner in his safety bubble. <laughs> I'm gonna use the I like to imagine, I you have no idea how much, how much I was tempted to just go, hey, uh, Ca Callum, can I have that potion? Can I look to see that uh, potion real quick? Take the block, the spell potion, drink it, and just cast Arms of Hadar again. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> was so low. <laughs> but I got I, I love the Cuba Forest. It's such a fun item. You know what I like to imagine the scene is? It's it's Reverie looking angry, and then Helm is normal, but he's just wearing the water breathing cap. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking goofy oh. Dude, okay, can I talk about something real quick? So I had this in mind that Minerva was like, um, basically had like a, like a water folk, uh, lover at some point, right? The ring of, uh, in, the, the ring of engagement was a random roll. <laughs> Wonderful. That's oh. beautiful. So I was well, just like, oh, okay. perfectly. <laughs> yeah, the just random rolls perfectly. have been insane this game. Get this fucking Dude. guy. Oh, all right. I, I was so tempted to take the eyes, Duncan. I, I will not lie. I I was tempted to at least bring it up out of character because it felt like a very cringe thing to 
<laughs> fucking he was doing all that skull smashing looking for treasure so yeah, my dude didn't even to... make it through one dungeon <laughs> he didn't even make it to half he didn't even make it halfway he oh. never is gonna see the wonders and treasures of dungeon 4 oh. no he's not what's in dungeon 4 <laughs> he got he's know. just been told it's <laughs> a lot of loot <laughs> lots of loot apparently I hated him at the first, but then him and fucking Callum actually somehow started to bond. <laughs> and then he, we got Callum losing his shit when he died. It was great. Yeah, it's like I literally just did this really nice thing. We were making progress. Look at this guy. Die. He looks so nice with white hair. Kirita's even more broken up about this because she'll never get to say what she did for him before he died. <laughs> oh, what did she do? The whole, oh yeah, I'll give you my wand thing, makes an image of Minerva. Oh, right, that. Uh, ah. Look at the rat. Look at the rats. They tried to kill your, us. Your <laughs> king ne nearly tore my arm off. What do you mean, this king? <laughs> kill him. I'll fucking I'll kill him. Kill him. <laughs> I'm I, like, I did fucking kill him. You did. I'm still sad we lost all the crowns. These guys and their crowns. later. <laughs> How much were the crowds worth, Tally? I have uh, to It was know just 20, 20, 20 GP each. Oh my god! At least I got They were worth something. They weren't worth that much, but they were still worth something. Yeah. Look, it's Walter. <laughs> Walter! Hi, I'm, Walter. I can't believe I made friends with him. Yeah, so these guys are spooky as hell. Wasterliths mm -hmm. are um, territorial, sort of like uh, water dwelling creatures that like pollute water and. Oh gosh, they're super cool. They can telepathically talk and all of that, and they yeah. have a very greedy personality, so I wanted to like play into that with him. You know what I'm like? I don't think it'd be an abolith. They're, Tally wouldn't throw an abolith at us. No, no, this, this, this is worse. <laughs> I knew it had something to do with pollution. That's why I did the gamble with the fresh water. Yeah, that was a really yeah. great idea. I liked that a lot. Yeah. Uh, this was <laughs> very much, I put this in here like, here. oh, okay, Hello. it would be really fun to put like a high level monster that if they attack it, it would probably kick their asses. They wouldn't attack it, though. Duncan. <laughs> it attacks it. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's looking at. This could just be another Rat King, for all he knows. Fair enough. Richard, back in the corner. Rat King. Callum, just, uh, uh, yeah, Psychic uh. Rat King. And I'm really... There was, a magic, there was a magic elephant helmet. Could have been anything. I'm really anything. glad that the Mike and Ed Sovereign worked out. I was, uh, oh. I was a little apprehensive about using it, but I made a, like barred down version for like a level one encounter and that was really fun i say here's that guy yeah yeah i was gonna say uh fuck you, that guy usually because they live in the underdark and usually by the time you're going down as the underdark a, a, a single myconoid's not an issue even like a small squad of them is just gonna be cannon fodder yep but a sovereign oh, a sovereign at level one a sovereign at level one yep yeah, yeah that, that's a boss. That's a... Uh, I hate that he looks cool. Doesn't he look cool? Yeah, I, know, right? I, <laughs> I love imagine. his crown being no, like where, a little no, galaxy. Unfortunately, the next area we're going to is probably filled with his circle, aka a bunch of random mic and You know what would have been really fucking funny if it was possible? If Crage was able to fucking come back to life as a part mushroom person now because of that, but no. Uh, it would have been weird because he would have been able to see his eyesight back. Uh, yeah, so next time we will be level 2 and we will go into the second half of the first dungeon. <laughs> you gave it this. Um, oh. so I would say that, that yeah? Hmm? You want a taco? Uh, yeah? Are we bribing the GM with tacos now? Obviously bribe the GM. We fucking get it, we're done here. I look at the two yes. people with death save fails. Well, you yeah. said you'd love a taco, and I'd really love advantage next turn. So <laughs> it doesn't matter if both want. <laughs> I'm sure we you, I don't have medicine. <laughs>